This is Robin with Horror Pop After Midnight, and I'm here at GalaxyCon Columbus. I'm here with uh, writer John Jackson Miller. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well. My first Ohio convention. Really? This is your very first Ohio convention? Yeah, not my first time to Ohio, but somehow I've uh, managed to miss actually doing a show here before. But I've been doing most of the Galaxy Cons this year, and they do a great show. Now, tell me about your upcoming uh, book that just came out. Uh, well, the upcoming book is uh, Star Wars The Living Force. Uh, it is uh, the first novel with uh, starring roles for the entire Jedi Council. Uh, it is set one year before uh, Star Wars uh, The Phantom Menace, uh, and uh, it's a good timing for it because uh, it is the 25th anniversary uh, in 2024 of, uh, of that movie, uh, and it depicts the, uh, the, the galaxy with... Uh, you know, all the influences that uh, were in play in what they call the High Republic uh, are on the wane. They, they're, they've pretty much gone away. Uh, we are uh, in a period where the, it's clear that the Senate and the Republic is increasingly more corrupt. Uh, and Qui-Gon Jinn, who's in the book along with Obi-Wan, uh, Qui-Gon challenges the Jedi Council uh, to uh, get out of the ivory tower, get out of the big room they're in, uh, and actually meet the people and try to confront some of what's going on around them. Uh, touch grass, as they say. Uh, leave, the, uh, leave the room and actually see what can, what's going on. Uh, and uh, the challenge is accepted, and we get a Jedi road trip. Uh, so we get a Jedi spring break uh, just in time for everybody. Uh, April 9th, uh, 2024, in audiobook, ebook, and uh, uh, hardcover. I loved uh, Star Wars Knights of the Republic. Um, so how did you become part of that project? That, that's, a fun, that's a fun story. Uh, I had written Iron Man for a year, and uh, I actually was just on a, a, a family reunion trip uh, to uh, Oregon and uh, dropped in on Dark Horse Comics, where I, I knew some folks. Uh, spotted uh, Randy Stradley, who was the editor of the line there, and uh, just happened to have a bunch of my, Star War, a bunch of my Iron Man comics with me, uh, looking to see if he had any Star Wars work. He uh, gave me a single issue tryout in uh, Star Wars Empire magazine, uh, and uh, you know that's kind of cool because that single issue uh, is coming out in a giant omnibus edition, uh, Star Wars: The Rebellion Omnibus Volume Two, uh, that comes out in May. Uh, so it's going to be a busy year for reprints next year. Uh, but it was that uh, single issue that led him to uh, offer me a chance to write a series that was tying in with the um, Knights of the Old Republic series, uh, the Knights of the Old Republic video game. So we set the uh, comic book seven years before the video game. Uh, and, uh, and basically I wrote Star Wars meets The Fugitive because uh, you know, Zane Carrick, our main character, is accused of a crime he didn't commit. And, uh, and it's just a lot of fun. And you know, Marvel, uh, Marvel uh, did a big omnibus for it a few years ago. And Marvel is bringing back into print volume one of it uh, in May. Now, um, tell me about the big Star Wars omnibus to Old Republic that you have over here at your table. Well, that was what I was just mentioning. It's the, this is the giant uh, uh, you know, book with everything in it. So this came out two years ago. Uh, uh, these are down. We're now down to just a few editions left. Where it's uh, what yeah, there's a company called Heroes in Action uh, that sells these. They're signed and numbered, signed by me and Dustin Weaver and Brian Ching, uh, Michael Atia and Michael Heisler, uh, who worked on most of the issues. All of us. Uh, and uh, Heroes in Action does have uh, these books available. Uh, books available on eBay, uh, uh, even even if you're not at this convention. Uh, but uh, you know, as I say, uh, we will be able to allow people to get into a cheaper version of it uh, again here very shortly because the uh, the epic collections will be starting again uh, with uh, epic collection uh, volume one uh, is reprinted for the first time uh, in years uh, in 2024 um, also you write a lot of Star Trek too uh, so how much fun do you have riding for both genres Star Wars and Star Trek well I keep my passport stamped and so I go from universe to universe uh, Star Trek you know, I get to tell different kinds of stories. I get to refer to actual real life things and, uh, and uh, use, use uh, real history uh, when I'm writing things instead of you know, making something up that sounds like Star Wars. You know, sounds like more like Star Wars. Um, you know, and, uh, and it is, it, yeah, I just have a lot of fun with it. Uh, my last three Star, War Star Trek novels uh, all won the Scribe Award for best tie-in novel of the year. Uh, and uh, you know, the most recent one, 
uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, the high country. Um, you know, it's, a, it's a wonderful adventure where they're trying to escape a planet, a strange new world. Uh, and uh, that was the first Star Trek novel uh, that had planetary maps in it. So that's very cool because people can follow their way, uh, follow the crew as they're trying to get off this planet uh, on the maps that are in the book. I'm also, you uh, wrote a Bastard Galactica comic, too. That, that was pretty fun. Yeah, I wrote a, I wrote a uh, book called Counter-Strike, and that was a comic series for the 40th anniversary of the Battlestar Galactica series. Uh, and we wrote that book uh, as if the series never ended. And so it, it basically picks up where it went along, or, or, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, I, I, I thought the... Uh, art was wonderful. Daniel HDR, uh, uh, as the artist, uh, captured the look of the original series, the original characters, the original spaceships. Uh, very much a labor of love that came out from Dynamite. Uh, and people could find that book uh, on, uh, online, on Amazon and uh, through their comic shops. So where can everybody find you on social media to see what you're going to be doing next? Okay, I, uh, my website is uh, farawaypress.com where I have notes on most of my books. Uh, and uh, links on how to get them. Uh, on uh, Twitter, I am JJM Faraway. Uh, on Facebook and Instagram and threads, I am John Jackson Miller. Uh, and I'm farawaypress.com on Blue Sky. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.